Sometimes when I talk to artists and I'll ask, what was your biggest regret? The list is sometimes long. Other times people will say things like, well, I'm here, I'm alive, so I'm happy. I asked David Page what his biggest regret was, and you'll see in the beginning, he didn't seem to have one, but then it came. Uh, last question, do you, uh, any regrets at all? Uh, any regrets? No, I don't believe in regrets, you know? Yeah, because yeah, you know what? Any 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 change, because, you know, the cliche question is, oh, if you yeah. could whisper, and I've asked that question, yeah. but everyone said, a lot of people say, well, I wouldn't be talking to you right now, perhaps, or I wouldn't have yeah. met my wife, or yeah. I wouldn't have yeah. my son, or, yeah. yeah. Uh, I wish we, I wish we'd had picked a better name. That's one of my regrets. I love we were, that name. I we love were that searching, name. we were searching for a name like Toto, and it just ended up on our demo boxes, so it ended up in our contracts, you know. And uh, we were looking for something simple like the Who, yes, the Beatles, the Eagles, you know, something like that. So, were there any other uh, alternatives? Did you do you remember any other alternatives that you had? No, I remember where there was a somebody always threw was throwing names at us and stuff. But uh, uh, no, we just settled on Toto, you know. Okay, I got a few fan fan questions because we've gone okay. over. I'm going to do a track by track when the album comes out with okay. your explanation, and we're just going to do Great. that. Um, Oh, what was the vibe? This is from Gary Schneider. Some of these names you might know. Uh, yeah. What was the vibe going into uh, Boss Gag Silk Degrees? What was, how were you feeling going into that project? How old would you have been then? I would have been around 23, 24. Mm -hmm. And that was, we were at the top of our game. I mean, gee, we had been doing Seals and Crofts records. We had played on a couple of Steely Dan tracks. And we were, we were locked. We were tight. And so when I wrote the Jeff Ricardo gave me the opportunity to hook me up with Boss Skaggs. To, he wanted a piano player he could write the whole album with or a couple of songs. Well, we wrote the whole album and I just called Hungate and Louis Shelton and, and Jeff Ricardo. And we went in the studio and it was just like wildfire. It just happened magically, very quickly. Sorry. My, my that's getting, gets casting right with having the right personnel and having a song having a song in, with a form to it, you know? Is there anything on that album that you really pushed that might not have gotten on there or anything that you pushed and uh, it, it, it finally made it, it made it on? Yeah, there? Love Me Tomorrow was, was the first thing that, that uh, Boz has not written the lyrics to completely. I wrote the lyrics and the whole song, Love Me Tomorrow, which was when just kind of that's, that could have very well been a solo album thing I would pull out right now if I still had it or a Toto thing, you know? But it just came out during that time. Same with uh, Jump Street, you know? I just came from a, a Small Faces concert and was in, in, in very impressed with the fact that they'd start the song out with the guitar and drums, but no bass. And so it'd be just the drums playing and the bass and without bass. So I started the Jump Street with just the piano playing and, and, uh, and Jeff just playing his drums with no bass in it until the first verse comes. So that's, that was the impetus be, behind that. Forgotten Toys is the brand new EP from David Page. It's a long time coming. He spent his whole life working with a whole bunch of musicians. We'll have links to the Toto website where you can pick it up in the description. Make sure you like our video. Keep in mind the entire first interview is online right now. We'll have a link to it. And keep looking back for links to the brand new interview in its entirety. We'll be having that up in the next couple of weeks. And there'll be a link in the description. Subscribe to our channel, share our videos, and comment. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself.